My name is Angela. Hey, hello. Welcome to my very own show. I'll introduce my friends to you. Oh, no, it's Minnie Pooh. Shooby dooby doo wah wah. My name is Angela. And you are not seen in it. Man, why is a stuff up your face? Ah! And now to today's story. Starring me and not starring Nanette Memoir. <laughs> right now, we are all really worried on account of the unspeakable has been spoken, which I can't even speak of. <laughs> hey, baby Lulu, instead of talking, why don't you gum one of these Captain Cookies that you love? Uh, please don't mention cookies. Well, I know what'll keep her quiet Uncle Nicky. Sing the lullaby you used to sing to me. Sleep, little Johnny, it's a quarter to six. Let Uncle Nicky go pick up hot chicks. <gasps> They're home. Okay, everybody act like you're acting normal. <laughs> Come on, Lulu. Please stay quiet. Hey, Dad, what did the doctor say about your finger? Which hammer did you hit it with? You want to go show me? Well, it's fractured, which means I won't be building that solar-powered vacuum anytime soon. And how was everything here while we were gone? Fine! Fine. I bet my precious Lulu Bell was a little angel. <laughs> <laughs> Weren't you my precious little angel? <laughs> Uh, me too. Me too. Not so fast, Nikki. <laughs> All right, gang. I want to know right now who taught Lulu that curse word. Wasn't me. Me neither. Nope. Well, unless the sweary fairy stopped by on her way to Smutville, someone here taught her that word. And no one is ever going to leave this house until I find out who. Ever? As in never? confess already. I'm not old like you guys. I have my whole life ahead of me. Uncle Nicky, are you sure baby Lulu didn't curse on account of you teaching her a curse word? I never swore in my whole life. Well, I did swear once, but believe you me, I learned my lesson. If you don't tell me who taught you that word, I'm gonna... Ugh. And I ain't never said a curse word since. But you were the last one alone with baby Lulu. Maybe you should tell us exactly what happened. Okay, okay. Let's see. I was at the disco dancing with two, no, three, no, four gorgeous dames when... Hold on a second, Uncle Nicky. Maybe you should just start from the last hour. Hey, that was the last hour. Like I said, I was at this disco dancing with these gorgeous dames when my watch starts beeping. Oh, uh, sorry, ladies. It's half past the Vatican. That means I gotta go pick up my nephew Johnny from his friend Angela's house. So's I show up here to pick up Johnny when Ooh. all of a sudden... Yo, Nikki, watch <laughs> Lulu for us, will ya? Hey, Uncle Nikki, looking good. Me, Gordy, Johnny, and, uh, you know, the smart girl just baked up some cookies that made us puke. Oh. <sighs> Yo, don't sweat at me, Amori. I got me a toothbrush you can use. So, Lulu, let's play us a game. How's about this little piggy? This little piggy <laughs> ate rigatoni. This little piggy had none. This little piggy said, if you don't give me some of your stinking rigatoni, your piggy self will be swimming at the bottom of the lake. <laughs> uh, sorry, uh, just kidding, kid. So, Lulu, what you want to play next? Huh? And that's what happened. I never said nothing bad to Lulu, ever. Maybe you didn't say anything bad, but what about the piggies? You only told us what three of them said. Maybe one of the other two is a piggy potty mouse. Angela, I think Nikki's telling the truth. Hmm. Well, then maybe we should hear from Mark and Derek, on account of they're the ones who gave Lulu to Uncle Nikki. Okay, uh, let me think. Hmm. Come on, this is important. Hey, I remember. 
we were walking downstairs when Angela and her dweeb friend showed up. Dude, these cookies we just baked rock. Hey, can you hold baby Lulu for me, dude? Yo, come on, guys. Let's go crank Colin at Memoir. Yeah. <laughs> dude? Oh, oh, dude. Good one, dude. Hey, Lulu, want to toss around the old pigskin? <laughs> and that's all that happened. Lulu said a bad word, but we didn't teach it to her. Well, if Uncle Nicky didn't teach Lulu the word, and Mark and Derek didn't teach her the word, that leaves only one other possible suspect. The sweary fairy. What? Angela, you had Lulu before we did. Maybe you should tell us what happened when Lulu was with you. Okay, but my story is pretty boring, on account of nothing exciting happened to make it exciting. I was holding Lulu when Gina, Johnny, and Gordy showed up to bake cookies. Hey, ready to bake cookies that are not messy on account of messes are hard to clean? Are you kidding? I love to bake cookies on account of I love cookies. I agree with Gina Lash on account of I love her. Hmm. I will do whatever you want, Angela Anaconda, on account of I like you way better than Annette Manoir. Okay, I'll pour in the ingredients. Gordy, you stir. Gina, you <laughs> grease the cookie sheets. And Johnny, you preheat the oven. Oof. <gasps> I'm covered in grease. Two cups oh. flour. Three cups sugar. <laughs> and so when the cookies were done, we ate them and got sick for some reason. So I handed Lulu to Mark and Derek. Lulu didn't even swear when she was with me. <laughs> Whoa! Not so fast, little Miss Guilty. Don't you think it's kind of funny that the only person Lulu imitated all day was you? <laughs> hey, Lulu wasn't imitating me the whole time. To keep her quiet, I turned on the radio, and she started imitating the radio instead of me. Aha! Uh -huh. <laughs> I bet she learned the word from the radio that you turned on. That's not true. The radio was only on for a second, on account of I slipped on some of Gina's grease and knocked it over. <laughs> I bet that when you fell on your butt, you said a bad word. No, there were witnesses who... Oh, you let go to dinner because you knew they'd rat you out. Just admit it. You're the one who cursed like an out-of-work circus clown. But I... But they... But she... <gasps> Tell the truth, Angela. Did you say that horrible curse word in front of Lulu? Did you? No, maybe... I don't know. I mean, I don't think I've ever even said that word before. But I don't remember. Lulu... A bad influence on you, am I? <laughs> so now I will be banished to Smutville on account of I am a bad influence. Speaking of bad, baby Lulu is bad to the bone on account of I taught her to curse at such a young age. <laughs> Sister will tell me. Ow! It's the fuzz! Huh? Ah! Ah! I will scream as we are arrested for being bad influences on the entire world. For the crimes of armed robbery, evading police, and worst of all, swearing in the house, I hereby sentence both of you to life imprisonment. The judge will say, ah! But he didn't do anything! I'm innocent, I tell you! Innocent! I'm innocent! I would remember if I said a curse word and I don't, which means I didn't. I never swore, I swear! Well, if you didn't, then who did? Hmm. 
Well, who had baby Lulu before Angela? Actually, Lulu was with me. I was just working on my solar-powered vacuum, hammering away when... <laughs> <laughs> Whoops. You mean after all this, you taught Baby Lulu the word? Well, uh, <laughs> the important thing is that uh, oh, we all know cursing is wrong. Uh, now, who's up for ice cream? But you can't get off scot-free. You taught Baby Lulu a bad word. And you guys shattered a lamp, broke a radio, and made a mess of the kitchen. Like I said, who's up for ice cream? <laughs> Arr, yarr. Surrender thy booty, ye scurvy dogs. We'll never surrender your mother's jewelry box. Tonight you sleeps with the fishes. Shiver me timbers. Prepare the rolled up sock cannon first mate lash. Aye, aye, Captain Anaconda. Fire ahoy! <laughs> <laughs> hey, how come we never get any socks? Because we're the ruthless sea pirates. You're just the helpless merchant ships that we viciously plunder. Oh, okay. Well, let's play again. Don't touch the floor, Johnny Abadi. You'll be eaten by shark. Oh. Hmm. <laughs> Johnny Abadi, why does the hat that is on your head have a picture of Spangly Jangles with his head stuck in a mailbox? Huh? <laughs> a vast being eaten by shark, GB. We aren't playing anymore, Gordy Reinhardt. <laughs> so now we are looking at our newest discovery, which is called Funny Photos, on account of their photos that are funny. Look at Carl Carlson with a big rip in his pants. <laughs> Look at Ms. Yamagachi running away from that angry swarm of bees. <laughs> oh, man, bees. Oh. Who knew that reading the newspaper could be fun? All that time I wasted running outside and playing when I could have been reading the newspaper. Hey, wait a second. There are no more funny photos. The rest is all unfunny photos and news stories and junk. No. Oh. It's not all junk, Angela Anaconda. It says here that they'll give us $10 if we send in a funny photo that they print in the paper. Then I think it is time that we got into the business of being in the photograph business. Come on, I know that it is in here somewhere in here. <laughs> hey, a plunger! <laughs> plunge, 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 <laughs> plunge. Found it! This is my dad's old instant camera that he used to take instant pictures with. Now we just have to figure out something funny to take pictures of. Hey, I know. Uh, look at my funny faces. Uh, <laughs> Johnny and Body, we do not want people to laugh at pictures of us. We want people to laugh at pictures of other people who are not us. Oh, yeah. I like laughing at other people. <laughs> oh. Quick, Dad, do something that is funny. <laughs> hey, look, I'm an elephant. <laughs> <laughs> Out of me way, ye scurvy scurvies. Careful, Johnny. That thing's been in a toilet. Guys, we got a rejection letter from Funny Photos. It says, if you want to be considered for Funny Photos, please send us pictures that are actually funny. No. Well, if we want to get a funny picture into the Funny Photos, it looks like we've got to give funniness a helping hand. <laughs> now we just wait for someone to fall into the mud and snap a funny photo. Oh, oh. Smart guy. Looks like we have to find a way to make someone fall into that puddle. I got an idea. Johnny, that's a great idea. Putting a banana peel in front of the puddle is sure to make someone slip and fall in. Well, I just wanted a banana. <laughs> Boom! We have to set out more than one banana peel. Whoa! Lick. Huh? <laughs> Whoa! Oh. 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 You know, Angela 
anaconda. Mud baths are only fashionable if you take them at a spa. <laughs> Maybe we could put some Atomic Death Wish hot sauce on a slice of pizza. Then we can take a picture of whoever eats it howling in misery. <laughs> Whoa, I got an idea. I'll scare Nona with my monkey yell, and she'll drop the dough on her head. Dough on heads is funny. <laughs> excuse me, moi Woo! A monkey! <laughs> I just came to pick up my pizza, but the show was quite entertaining as well. <laughs> now remember, when somebody pulls the string, the bucket will dump all the applesauce on them, and then we'll take the picture for funny photos. Okie dokie. I hope this works, Gina Lash, on account of I feel like I am running out of funny. Oh no! Our kite is caught in this tall tree. But we cannot reach it on account of we are too little. Whatever will we do? If only someone taller than us would come along and reach up and grab the string. Hey, girls, I happened to overhear you talking, and I thought maybe I could help. Oh, thank you, kind sir. <laughs> <laughs> this will be the funniest funny photo ever. I don't know whether to laugh my head off or laugh my butt off. Oh. <gasps> what? Where did that kite come from? Thank you for retrieving my kite, Mr. Mapperson. It saves me the trouble of having Alfredo climb the tree to get it. Well, I'm glad I could be of help, girls. But I should be going now. Those cinnamon swirls don't bake themselves, you know. Huh? Hey, look. I forgot to let the string down. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Guys, what happened to the applesauce? Um, I don't know. <laughs> Is that the applesauce you were looking for, Angela Anaconda? <laughs> and then it took my mom half an hour just to get all the applesauce out of my ears. I cannot believe that we still never even once got to take even one funny photo. Well, at least we got to climb a tree. Would any of you care to have a look at today's funny photos? <laughs> There's some especially funny ones that I think you might enjoy. <laughs> Hey, who are those losers in the mud puddle? Those losers are not losers, Johnny Abadi, on account of those losers are us. <gasps> and look at the rest. Alfredo was following me around all day with the camera, taking photos for my pictorial essay entitled A Day in the Life of Nanette Manoir. But when I saw how splendidly these pictures of you turned out, well, I just couldn't resist sending them to funny photos. <laughs> <laughs> so, Ninny Wart Manoir couldn't resist putting me in the paper, could she? Well, maybe I should put her in the paper. Extra, extra, read all about it. New evidence found. Nanette Manoir is not only un-French, but she is also unhuman. Testing has revealed that phony Nin wears phony baloney hair to hide the fact that she is really a monkey. Super scientist Gina Lash will say. Ooh, ooh, ow! Extra, extra! Monkey Pooh Manoir abducted by space aliens from outer space. <gasps> the aliens took me into their spaceship and probed my noodle brain. Mini no brains will say. <laughs> and then I was forced to marry. Extra, extra, read all about it. Earth declares celebration as Mini Pooh is removed from our planet forever. <laughs> <laughs> and I used the money from the funny photos to get myself a manicure. <laughs> What is the meaning of all this commotion? It's so noisy in here, I can barely enjoy my prune juice. Mrs. Brinks, look at these hilarious.
hilarious funny photos featuring members of our very own class. <laughs> I've befouled my favorite student. <laughs> Angela Anaconda, do you still have film in your camera? Huh? Oh, yeah! Ah! The next edition of Funny Photos is going to be the best edition ever. <laughs> <laughs>